Hi guys, so I want to show you a perfect example of how the media is manipulated by political parties and how they facilitate that manipulation either consciously or unconsciously. So what we're going to see here is we're going to see a video of, it's just a, a short clip, and I'm not going to show all of it, of Ian Duncan Smith who I like to call the placeholder politician because Ian Duncan Smith doesn't actually have a brain, I don't think. He just serves a simple purpose to push a a particular narrative or a particular message from um, from Whitehall or from the uh, from the Conservative Party headquarters. So I'm going to show you a little clip and then I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. Do you think that Boris Johnson should listen to Sir Keir Starmer and should actually leave all these different tiers around all these different local measures and go for a full on two or three week circuit breaker over half term, closing the schools maybe for a week or two as well um, to break uh, the uh, spread of the virus. Would you support that? No. Um, let me just be very clear about this. This is naked political uh, uh, posturing by the Labour Party. They know it. Uh, uh, they know exactly what they're trying to do. Uh, they're trying to jump ahead. After all, uh, they they have gambled. That so what he said, what he said here, this is he, he didn't say whether he agrees or not with this actual with an actual lockdown. He's saying that this is uh, the Labour Party trying to take advantage of the situation. Now, this is a politician delivering a particular message. OK, now, Ian Duncan Smith, I don't know if Ian Duncan Smith actually believes this. I don't care if Ian Duncan Smith actually believes the things he's saying. He serves a purpose. He's he's put out uh, on TV, on the radio to uh, to broadcast a message from the Conservative Party. Let's, let's now listen to uh, how the media itself promotes a, a message. Almost exactly the same message. But can Boris Johnson hold his nerve? He's already stared down the hysterical scientists of SAGE once. They are operating in a COVID bubble, ignoring the catastrophic excess deaths to come from missed cancer treatments and screenings, a depression epidemic and poverty like we've never seen before in our lifetime. Now Boris needs to ignore that political opportunist Keir Starmer who has been... The political opportunist Keir Starmer. So we just heard Ian Duncan Smith saying how the Labour Party are trying to take an up, trying to... Uh, trying to use this as an opportunity to benefit themselves. Here we have Dan Wooten from uh, Talk Radio saying something very similar. Now, this is uh, the conscious part. I want to show you the unconscious uh, f facilitation of this message by the media. So we have here, and thanks to Ross McCaffrey for posting this, this is a collection of four tweets by four different journalists. We have um, Harry Cole, who, who works for the, the Mail on Sunday. We have Laura Kausenberg, who works for the BBC. We have uh, Beth Rigby, who works for Sky News. And we have Tom Newton Dunn, who writes for The, uh, the Times. If you look at their tweet, each of, their, each of them have uh, spoke to different Conservative Party sources, but the message is always the same. Keir Starmer is a shameless opportunist playing political games in the middle of a global pandemic. Another source says, Keir Starmer is a shameless opportunist playing political games in the middle of a global pandemic. Another source says, Keir Starmer is a shameless opportunist playing... Okay, you see, you, you see what I'm getting at. The, the media are serving two purposes here. They're serving uh, in... This format, it's consciously promoting the Conservative Party's message. Here, it's unconsciously support, uh, promoting the Conservative Party message. And here is the placeholder. This is the Ian, Ian Duncan Smith is the politician who's sent out to test the waters or to promote the message. Ian Duncan Smith doesn't serve any other purpose. I hope he's getting paid for this at least. He doesn't have any opinions. He doesn't have any uh, stances. He's just there to, to push this message. Now, who is this source? Well, a source is generally um, someone decided by the government who they want uh, um, 
to test the public uh, with, with a message. So they, who would it be? Probably someone chosen by Dominic Cummins, or it could have been Dominic Cummins himself. Probably not Cummins because they would have been probably reported. But what they do is they, they try out a message. So they send it out to the, the media. The media report it unconsciously. They also have their friends in other parts of the media who will promote it consciously. And of course, they will send out the likes of Dominic, uh, sorry, Ian Duncan Smith, who will promote the message as well to test the water, see how, how people react. Are people reacting um, positively in the sense that they're attacking um, Keir Starmer over this? Or are they responding negatively? Once again, if, it, if, the, if the response is negative, they can just ignore um, the response and say, this was just a source, um, it's not a government policy, um, this is not Boris Johnson's real thinking. But of course, if the response is good, then you will see Keir Starmer uh, being insulted in Parliament and Boris Johnson using this probably almost exactly the same language. This is how people are manipulated. This is how the media is manipulated, both unconsciously and consciously. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?